Gordon Wagoner, as the head of design of Mercedes, is one of the faces you instantly recognize when you talk about the brand. But normally you only see him at car presentations or when he's giving interviews at motor shows. But we never saw the person Gordon Wagoner anywhere. And this is the reason why we're going to spend a whole day with him today. And we start our day with Gordon Wagoner exactly where his day is starting, here at a bakery. Well, when I was young, I was I was surfing a lot, windsurfing around the globe, and I, I wasn't so bad. Uh, so I was seriously considering becoming a pro windsurfer when I was around 18. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, so I went on the design uh, as uh, I was always interested in, in arts and painting. Uh, actually, I was shaping and, and designing surfboards, um, getting a bit of extra money. <laughs> So the artwork aspect was actually very important to me and, uh, and so that's why I went into car design um, and still today it's kind of a dream job where you, it's like uh, the little boys in the sandbox playing with cars, it's something like that just on a larger scale, a bit more professional. <laughs> No, of course, uh, I'm not only responsible for Mercedes-Benz car group, um, also we are the largest uh, truck manufacturer of the world, uh, not only with Mercedes trucks, you'll probably see one right there, let me check, um, but also uh, in North America, Freightliner, Western Star, the big, big trucks, um, and then I just came back from uh, Fuso in Japan, we opened a new design studio there, a brand new design studio, it's super cool, uh, for Fuso trucks of Asia. So we do Fuso and Bharat bands in India, it's a dependence of that. And um, so, so we're shaping all these global truck brands. Well, inspiration is everywhere. As a designer, you have to um, go through the world with open eyes. And uh, most crucial for that is travel because you have to leave your, your studio and go somewhere else. Otherwise, you will lose your criticism. You will lose your fresh eye. It's a constant um, process of inspiration. The difference from the over-exaggerated show cars to the production cars um, is a crucial part of our business. You actually get different results when you ask the designers, please do me a visionary show car, or please do me the next C-Class. You will end up with completely different results. So it's about inspiration of, of us. It's about inspiration of others. It's of course about building the brand and making the brand iconic, creating future icons such as well, Maybach uh, six show cars, for instance, many, many others. Design is not free art. It is within the show cars, yes, but it's not within the production cars. There are restrictions in engineering costs and so on. And uh, actually this makes the job interesting because otherwise everybody could do it, right? We do a very professional job and um, and in the end, we have a sustaining product. And I think that's also a great challenge. So it's really the right balance between the visionary show car and um, the old couture production car. Well, there's a lot of Gordon in every Mercedes and so also in the Mercedes EQ. It's actually very, um, it's a great opportunity to create a new brand, a brand that will define the progressive luxury of the future, that will um, basically stage a case connected, autonomous shared electric. So therefore we developed a new surface language here, of course, based on sensual purity. So a car that is beautiful, sexy on one hand, but again for the EQ brand, even more clean than clean. And what is that? That is seamless. You see the surfacing, there's no single line on it. Everything is like light and shadow. Very beautiful, very techy on the other hand. We combine the graphics seamlessly together, uh, grill and headlamps, so we do in the rear. And then we put it onto a proportion here as the first car, the EQC, in our mainstream segment, uh, GLC, um, uh, mid-size uh, SUV, uh, hottest selling segment. We made the car even more sporty. Electric is sporty. So we have um, a slipping, 
sloping rope line. Uh, we have big shoulders and so we have a great stance onto the street and therefore this car is very sporty on one hand and very techy on the other. As an artist, I think it is very important that you, um, you, that you look at yourself, that you listen to yourself, follow your belief and thinking. In our case, our central purity philosophy, which we keep evolving and pushing further and further. Um, and, and so when a, when, a, when a car hits the market, we know it already for five years. And, uh, and, and so the most favorite car is always the one we are working on right now, as we have progressed in mind so much. Uh, and therefore, I think it is crucial as a creative person uh, to follow your own belief and not look left and right at, about what other people are doing. No, I actually don't feel like being, being the design boss. I feel like just, yeah, I'm, I'm certainly a designer, a, very, a designer with a very strong opinion that sometimes definitely is not democratic. Um, design must not be democratic because the more people are talking in, the more it will water down the design. So my job is to have a strong voice and a strong opinion, especially in a big organization like a car company. Um, but I don't feel, or hopefully don't behave like, like the boss of design. Um, maybe my perception is different actually from, from the outside perception. Could be it because I'm, I'm coming places, people see me, uh, sometimes I'm going to do a selfie, so I guess I'm probably more famous than I'm aware of. <laughs> this is the best welcome you can get arriving here in our design center. This is why you design for Mercedes to design iconic cars like that. Here's our latest baby, uh, the GT four door in this white color with the black shadow package, super iconic, beautiful car. And then next to this is my GT two door in black shadow package. I always drive black cars with all black, like nice and mean. So this is really why I love this job. This is not an office, this is an atelier. Um, I mean, the artwork aspect again is, is why I started that job. And um, the only time I have to paint is uh, when I'm in my office. Most ones I, I give away to people. And, uh, but yeah, that's what I really enjoy, yeah. It's a very intense job, therefore, uh, after that, I need a week off doing no design, so work hard, play hard. That was our day with Gordon Wagoner, the chief design officer of Daimler. And now he's on his bike driving through the trees, so this means the end of the day. And this is the same for us.